So I finally got um, a met letter in the mail from the school, and it's an invitation to a meeting regarding, and it says my son's name, um, for the 18th of May and actually, at 9 a.m., and that really bothers me because that he was supposed to be in school since February, and now, finally now, they're getting the meetings and stuff like that in order, and because he's autistic... Um, we had to go through special screening and stuff like that, but they drug their feet. I mean, like, literally drug their feet. And so, this is like a day before school ends. So, okay, either they're going to say, okay, well, he has to attend school or you're going to be fined. Or, because, you know, he can't miss school because he has special needs. Um, or they're going to be like, okay, well, you can't go till next year. A day before school ends is, is ridiculous. And... I'm mad that they've treated him like this. And the whole way, they're like, oh, he's not special needs. He's not autistic. He's not this. They were trying to negate the doctor's diagnosis. Uh, he's got a doctor's diagnosis, a psychiatrist's diagnosis, special therapist diagnosis, a speech therapist, a non-occupational th therapist. But the school district didn't want to see him, and they didn't want to deal with him. So they kept telling me the whole time that he is not special needs, that he doesn't need this, da 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 da, -da. My son's not severe special needs, but he has special needs, and he does need special guidance. Um, other three-year-olds, you will tell them, hey, line up against the wall. Um, they may choose to do it. They may not choose to do it. But Leith doesn't understand that you're talking to him to tell him to line up against the wall. He will stand off into space like he's in his own little world. And that's why he he's special needs. Um, or one of the reasons, you know, that he needs help. Because he's supposed to, it's supposed to, they... Let me get the right acronym. The ECP slash PREK Center. It's the Early Childhood Pre-K Center. Um, which, why they abbreviate, never mind. Um, but anyways, so the Early Childhood Center is supposed to get him ready for school. Like, school, school. So whenever he goes and he's five years old and he has to go to elementary, he's not, he's supposed to be able to function at that level. He's functioning at a 11th month year old level. Um... So he's not going to be ready for school, and he's three and a half. Um, yeah, they and and they keep dragging their feet. And when it comes time for my son to be put in regular school, they're going to try to put him in regular classes. And there's no way that he's capable of that. But they don't want to because because he's special needs. For him to go into regular classes, it's a lot less expensive for them. And I'm pissed, and I'm very frustrated the way they're treating him. And it sucks that he's autistic. And it sucks that he has all this wrong with him. And when I try, because I'm a mother, and I'm trying to do and get him the best need care and everything he needs, but when schools don't want to deal with him because he has special needs, it infuriates me. And the way they screened him and the way they tried to screen him initially pissed me off. You're supposed to lay down, and I think I talked about this in one of my blogs. You're supposed to lay down three things. I've got a candy, and I've got a, um, like a toy, and I've got a soda. So they would lay down the soda, and they would lay down the toy, and then they would lay down the candy. And then they'd go, which one are you supposed to eat? Instead of having everything laid down and letting him choose... They would always ask for the last thing. They would be like, okay, let's lay down the piece of paper, the mouse, and the keyboard. Which one do you type on? And because that's the last thing they were touching, um, he would always pick it up. Um, and then if he didn't pick it up, they would kind of push it towards him. That, that irritates me to no end. Because he doesn't know that that's, that's what that does. Um, and I mean, it wasn't stuff like that. It was like a fork, a spoon, and a comb. Which one, or like a cup, a spoon, and a um, phone. And he'd pick up one. Which one do you talk with? Um, and stuff like that. It's more basic things that he can identify and know what to do. Um, they would put a shoe underneath the table and go, Let's go get the shoe underneath the table. Um, they're supposed to have one on top and under. That way you can tell which is under and which is um, on top. That way he, it's supposed to tell if he can tell under and on top. And he doesn't know his directions. So he'd pick up both shoes and run them to... Oh, he got the one that was under. He got the one that was on top, too. It's not, He doesn't know. So then they brought another kid in. And um, it was supposed to test how he interacted with the other kids. Um, 
and he got like here like he was near the other kid um but it's not like he was playing with the other kid he wasn't like oh let's drive cars together Lath was playing and the other kid was there Lath would walk over the other kid because he didn't understand that the kid's there um, and he was there for him to play with. Lace wasn't playing with a kid, but because Lace was playing in the same area as a the kid, they counted that as him playing with a kid. That's BS. They guided him through the whole interview, and I hate it. They put him on a new medicine. They put him on clonidine, um, because initially, whenever this whole, like, um, I really started getting stressed, he was only getting two hours of sleep, and I was only functioning on maybe 30 minutes, um, not hours, but so then they bumped it up to six because they put him on the respiral, and now they bumped it up to eight with the clonidine. But oh my god, he is hyper as. <sighs> I don't know if the clonidine has like a stimulant in it, and that's what makes him crash to go to sleep. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I hate the clonidine. He is way worse. Um, Monday was his therapist, his speech therapist, and occupational therapist. And I took him Monday, and Monday, um, he was just, oh my god. They had to come out and they're going, are you sure you gave him his medicine? And like, his, uh, Robert, Robert is his speech therapist. Are you sure you gave him his medicine? Has anything traumatizing happened in his week? You know what? Because he has behavior spikes and stuff like that. Every time they're like, has anything happened in his behavior? Has anything changed? That bothers me. For them to ask me if, if you know, anything has been different or has changed, it just, oh. So now I've got this meeting, and it's before the end of the school, and I hate it. And... It sucks. And I don't like that they're fucking giving my son the short end of the stick. I don't like it at all. And this is not a candy bar for people who are wondering if I'm on, di I'm on my diet. It's a fiber one bar. And I have diet soda. I'm still on my diet. I'm not losing any more weight, though. Um, so, yeah, that's how that's going. My diet is not good. Um... I've increased my fiber intake loads. Um, I've been eating fiber bars and fiber cereal and fiber um, breakfast snacky type things and spinach and broccoli because the doctor said I was not getting enough fiber and maybe that would help. <sighs> it's not. So now I've got to start eating parsley because that's a diuretic because apparently I'm retaining massive amounts of water so I've got to start eating parsley and avocado which apparently is very fatty for you but I've got to start eating parsley and avocado and black eyed peas and I'm just going to be like Bleh. I want McDonald's I want I want actually don't want McDonald's McDonald's is vile um but I want fries and a nice Swiss cheese with mushrooms grilled mushrooms Hamburger, um, nom nom, but I'll probably get stuck with a stupid turkey burger on wheat bun. Bleh. Yeah, so, yeah, I just thought I'd update you on my son's situation and what's going on with that. And an eight minute video, just about a stupid letter, is not fun for you. Bye!